Earth's inner heat is chipping away at Antarctica Doomsday Glacier, study says. And I'm glad this is out because everyone keeps saying it's only climate change. Well, no, Antarctica has over 100 volcanoes and new islands have recently been formed, especially on the western area of uh, the western ice sheet, which is also melting rapidly. There's underwater, there's under glacier I, um, volcanic activity there. Now, the collapse of the glacier into the ocean would reportedly result in global sea levels rising about 65 centimeters. That's about a foot and a half. A new study suggests that the Thwaites Glacier, located in western Antarctica, which has been melting since the 1980s and it's contributed to 4% of annual global sea level rise during that time, may not only be shrinking due to global warming, according to Life Science, as we said, a hundred volcanoes in Antarctica. One of them is the size of a supervolcano of Yellowstone. Now, according to the media outlet, authors of the new research established that Earth's crust under East Antarctica is significantly thicker than under the West Antarctic area, with the Thwaites Glacier, sometimes referred to as the Doomsday Glacier, therefore being subjected to more geothermal heat than its counterparts on the eastern side of the frozen continent. They said our measurements show that where the Earth's crust is only 17 to 25 kilometers thick, geothermal heat flow of up to 150 milliwatts per square meter can occur beneath Waits Glacier. This is what Ricarda Ziadek, geophysicist at Alfred Wegener Institute in um, Helmholtz Center for Polar Marine Research lead author of the study explains. Kindly support my Patreon account since YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. As Karsten Goll, geologist and AWI study co-author, explained, large amounts of geothermal heat may result in the bottom of the glacier bed no longer freezing completely or in a constant film of water forming on its surface. Both of these conditions may be considerably accelerated by glacier's loss of ice. If the Thwaites Glacier were to collapse into the ocean completely, the media outlet warns that it would cause global sea levels to rise 65 centimeters. Also, the glacier's possible disappearance, with it no longer plunging the edge of the West Antarctic ice sheet like a cork in the bottle of wine, would accelerate ice loss in the region and cause unprecedented levels of sea level rise. This is on Sputnik News by Andre Dergalen. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support.